Hello everybody, this is E3PO from WMClan.net and in this video tutorial you will be learning how to install SVN on Windows 7. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and Google SVN. This first link, you don't have to go into the website. You can actually click on this link and then download. Download the appropriate version for your operating system. Once you have it downloaded, it will be in your downloaded folder. I also recommend downloading Notepad++. So you can download here. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and install it and restart your system. Then create a desktop icon called SVN. As you see, you have these two new options in the drop-down menu. Go ahead and click on the repo browser. Go to any SVN that you know, and as you can see, you can see the files within the SVN. What you can do now is check out the SVN. And let's say we want to make a new folder, and OK. Now what this is doing is downloading all of the files within the SVN and checking their authenticity, authenticity, authentic, whatever, you get the point. Trying to use big words to sound smart never works when you're doing it all from scratch. I have, like, I'm not even reading anything, I'm just saying this. Okay, random tangent there. Back to what we were doing. Okay, so let's say you want to add a file to the, repo or the repository. Go ahead and let's say we want an audio file. So we can document settings, go to my music, and get some audio files. Let's say we want to upload this. Quite a nice name. All you have to do is drag it over to the repository, right click, towards SVN and, and then SVN commit. Hit OK. And now it has committed it to the SVN. Now if you have web access for the SVN, you can go to the SVN and as you can see it is there and able to be downloaded and it can be played just like that. And that is how you set up SVN on Windows 7. Visit my website at wmclan.net or email me at e3po at wmclan.net. Thank you.